right, bro. Uh, good to have you on, dude. And you know, it's funny. I was saying this to you right before we jumped on. Guys, if you're watching this, welcome to the call. We very rarely do these on Mondays, um, but we, we have such a backlog of people that we want to interview and that I want to re-interview. And I, I'm just, we're trying to figure out a good cadence here. And so it's just not, we, by the way, for those of you that don't know, we have every Tuesday, every Thursday, we have a new face on that's gotten a deal or gotten multiple deals or found new success in their business with flat fee digital real estate. So anyway, the reason we're doing this call is um, every time we you know, have these interviews, there's certain ones I wanna, I wanna go back and I wanna highlight, but I was telling, for those of you that are on here, I was telling Andrew, this is actually the first time I've talked, the first time I've ever talked face to face to Andrew was about 30 seconds ago or two minutes ago. <laughs> Because uh, he talked to one of our, our guys that, uh, was it Kyle or was it Dave? I think it was Dave, right? It was Dave, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm sorry, dude. Uh, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, so, dude, uh, like, give us a little bit real quick, and we're going to keep this tight. We're going to keep this, like, really informational, dropping lots of nuggets. But, dude, where, first of all, where are you at? Yeah, so I'm in Dallas, Texas. Okay. Dallas, uh, is that where you grew up and everything? No, I'm from Oregon. I just moved here less than a year ago for work. Okay. Cool. Did you just want to like, just for just everything going on in the world, you like want to get somewhere that's got like space and whatever? Yeah. I, I needed a new scene where it wasn't raining every day and uh, they kind of made me move here too. So even though it's like all remote, but. Love it, dude. Um, so tell me, dude, like, I, and by the way, this is the first time I've ever found this out for anyone that's on this call. I'm not asking questions. I already know. Like from what I understand, you when you started with us in Digital Landlords, which was at the time called Flat View Mastery, you had a nine to five, and if I'm not mistaken, you're still transitioning out of the nine to five. Like that's you're still doing that, right? Yeah, yeah. So I'm still at my nine to five. I'm still working that. So I'm okay. doing the uh, yeah the business. What do you do? Side. What do you do? And then I want to make a point here. Uh, software engineer. Software engineer. Okay. Mm -hmm. So uh, for those of you that are on this call or that are going to watch this call and you go, oh my gosh, I, I just don't have time. I just, I just don't have time. It's like, come on guys. Like, like, and, and what are your actual hours? You work that job from like literally nine to five or do you do like seven to three or how do you, how do you do it? Yeah, it all depends. Uh, I mean, it just really just depends. Like I'll, I'll work on like my side stuff during the day if I get all my work done. Okay. Um, but mostly it's just working after probably like four o'clock. So first of all, what is a, a guy that's a software engineer, which is like a cool title. I remember a couple of years ago when I was like trying to figure things out and I was a door to door salesman. I was like, dude, that'd be pretty dope to like be a, a software engineer. Like I was such a weird, like I was always like, what would people think? Which is just kind of shows you my immaturity, but that's what like, Oh, that'd be cool to say I was a software engineer. Then I went under those like codeacademy.com. I'm like, dude, I'm stupid, man. This is never going to work. Mm -hmm. So here's what I'm curious about. Like guy that's in your position, I assume you make pretty decent money. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, I actually know you do. Uh, <laughs> what you doing here, bro? Like, like what, what, what's the reason why you did that? You, you have probably one of the most sec secure jobs out there yet. You're over here. Like building uh digital assets and essentially going to replace that and, and just build this empire why yeah i mean i want to basically i don't know for one reason is i want to put all the time i'm putting in to making money i want it to be my own and not working for somebody else um and also i, I mean there's a cap with every nine to five even though i make good money right now um there's always going to be a cap to it so i just want to make you know as much money as i can and you know i'm making good money but the things I want to do, I'm not making enough. So I need to wrap it up. What do you want to do? Um, I just want to be able to basically travel like whenever I want. Okay. Um, own multiple houses, own like a fat lake house. Um, <laughs> yeah, so like that. I love it, bro. That's like, that's, you're just speaking my language. So like, why, why did you become a software engineer? I know that this year, like, like what, what doesn't matter it does matter why did you decide to become a software engineer? why did you choose that route from the beginning yeah so i started out as a firefighter i uh, interned at a fire station for a year okay and then uh, i went and got my degree uh, after that year and uh, i didn't know what i wanted to do so i was like i need to get a degree um so i just chose computer science and kind of just stuck with it <laughs> oh, that's okay. that's kind of yeah and where'd you go to school at 
Uh, Oregon State. Okay, cool. Yeah. The Beavers, right? Go Beavers, baby. Yeah. yeah. You guys have you guys have that dope. No, is that is it you guys? That, no, I think it might be thinking of. Uh, is it the what's the school in Idaho that has the blue field? Uh, Boise State. Boise State. I was thinking yeah. of Boise State. That field trips me out when I watch those games. Yeah. <laughs> um, but Oregon State's dope. That's actually like a really good school. So, dude, okay. So long story short, like you're somebody that wants to do well. You have big dreams, big ambitions. Uh, and you're like, at what I guess at what point did you realize this is not gonna be enough? And and then how did you find me, this, us, this model? Like, tell me that. Yeah, so uh, I realized it's not gonna be enough just uh this year. Like I've had a, like a lot of unfortunate events happen so i've had to travel back to oregon quite a bit okay spending a shit ton of money on like plane tickets and you know all that stuff and uh, i'm just like damn this just isn't enough um for like, you just all the travel i'm doing and like what i want to do so i probably made that realization pretty quick and i always knew it too i was like if i want to really make the money i want to make i'm not going to be able to do do it doing during nine to five um, I found your group actually. I was scrolling through TikTok and uh, I saw your TikTok video. And uh, yeah, you were just talking about the rank and rent model. And uh, dude, I honestly was me like I was hooked immediately. Um, and then I found your uh, your free Facebook group. And then like two days later, I just found the, the paid group and signed up. Dude, it's funny. Well, first of all, don't don't freaking lie to me, bro. When I love asking this question, when you saw the first TikTok video. Mm-hmm. Did you or did you not go do that guy's a freaking douchebag? Don't I mean, yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, <laughs> you're, you're normal. That's what I want. Yeah. So I'll take it on the chin. No, I'm totally kidding. <laughs> um, yeah. It's just, it's crazy. So it's funny you say that. And I bet there's a lot of people that like are in this group that had a similar path. They will see it, saw a YouTube video, they heard a podcast, they saw a TikTok or something, right? Mm. And they're like, it, it, it's, it's not the messenger, I'm the messenger, but it's the message, right? Which is build simple websites, own the websites and let them work while you're doing whatever you want to do and make money. I remember hearing that the business model, the same as you, bro. I remember watching, listening to a podcast that one of my buddies was doing, sent it to me. And I was like, I started listening and this guy was talking about rank and rent. And I was like, dude, that makes so much sense. Like it just clicked. And and next thing you know, like I couldn't shake it, dude. I kept thinking about it. And so I was like, I got so excited, but I, I had this other stuff going on and I never actually ended up jumping into that program until a couple months later. But I always say this to people that go, oh, is it saturated? Is it saturated? Is it saturated? I say, go and tell 10 people and go ask 10 people say, hey, do you know what rank and rent is? And probably 99% chance all 10 are going to say, I have no idea what you're talking about, bro right? Yeah, no, yeah, definitely. And then you're going to go explain in 10 seconds what it is that you do. Hey, you build simple sites, you rank them with a couple of SEO tricks, boom, you rent them out just like a, a, a physical property. And people are, I've never told somebody what I do and then go, yeah, that's stupid. Yeah. They're, they're yeah. always like, oh, that's really smart. Or they're like, dude, that's genius. And then you can kind of see them go like, dude, what am I doing? Like, <laughs> you know, if they're a business owner, they're like, dude, that's way easier than what I'm doing. And the reason I'm bringing this up is like, if you guys think, guys, if you, if you don't, if 10 out of 10 people don't know what rank and rent is, this thing hasn't even gotten close to, to even touching like people knowing about it, much less being saturated. But I'm telling you right now, because of the response you get once you explain it, that's the reason why I guarantee in three to five years, this is going to be a business model that is in the same category as e It's in the same category as drop shipping. It's in the same category as all these things. And it's just going to be a household name. And everyone on this call, if you miss your window, because right now is a freaking land grab. Right now we can go build unlimited sites and unlimited niches. There's no competition, like relative to like, it is wide open. And so Anyway, it's you didn't even know about the business model until you watched the freaking TikTok. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Dude, isn't that bizarre? What what a what a world, dude. <laughs> I know, right? Crazy. What, okay, okay. So moving on. So what was your yeah but? And and I think we probably asked you this. Dave should have asked you this, but like when you jumped into digital landlords and you saw all these case studies and everything else, and you're like, hey, like this guy's either, it's either legit or this guy's a total scam and he's good mm-hmm. at scamming. Maybe I am. 
No. Uh, <laughs> by the way, bro, have you seen Fire Festival? That thing on Netflix? Yeah, I have. Yeah, dude, isn't that bananas? That's crazy. I haven't. I watched it a long time ago, but yeah, it's yeah. crazy. I watched it like on a trip to like Africa or something, and I remember being like, I was kind of amazed at his ingenuity, but I was like, how? He knew that was going to come to a grinding halt. Like, wonder what he was thinking. Yeah, it was kind of impressive how many people could get on board with it. Yeah, like billionaires and VCs and all this crazy stuff. It was. was, I bring that up because I always tell people like, "Hey, I'm either full of crap and I'm the best scammer, better than that guy, or like the stuff actually works, right?" So (laughs) you know, you 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 choose. But you watch the case studies because I know we made you watch case studies because I don't talk to anyone until you watch case studies. What was your yeah, but what was the thing that you're like, cool? Works for that guy, but my situation is different. Works for her, but what was your but? Yeah, I uh, honestly, I don't, I don't really know. I, uh, I just jumped into it so quick um, that I just kind of was like, I'm just gonna make this work. But um, probably just like my yeah, but was just like, I, I, it's, I haven't been at that point yet making money online. So I was just like, yeah, well, like, am, am I actually gonna be able to do it? It's kind of same thing with like other goals that pay it, like being a certain body fat percentage, I'm like, all right, well, I've never been there. Like, can I get there? You know, like, I don't know. It was just kind of that. I've never done it before. So I don't know. So it's kind of like the whole, like, Hey, I've made money just being a software engineer, having nine to five job. But like, is this actually, is there actually, I remember thinking something similar, like, do people actually make money online or are these numbers all fake? Yeah. And, and that first dollar that hits your account, you're like, okay, we're cool. We're cool. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, Okay. So how long ago was this? Tell everyone right now, like, was this like, this is like two and a half months ago. And the reason why I put in the title that it's like from zero to three K in 60 days is because he's had the two deals for a couple of weeks. So mm-hmm. when did you first, when did, when did you join digital landlords? So I joined, I think it was July 15th or 13th, maybe. Okay. Let's just say mid July. So you're telling me like July 10th, you had no idea what rank and rent was roughly. Yeah. Yeah. I had no, no idea what rank and rent, no idea what SEO was. Amazing. Okay. So you're just like, I was. so guys, yeah. those of you that are listening, for all, however many of you guys that are listening, this guy that you're listening to right now doesn't even know what SEO is. He doesn't probably, I'm assuming you know what hosting and domains are because you're in mm-hmm. software, but you don't know what rank and rent is mid July, right? Yeah. Two months later, you're making three grand a month. <laughs> it, stupid, dude. Yeah, stupid. yeah. Like, and, and the funny thing was, is like you and I were talking and I, I can relate to this, but I was like, bro, let's jump on to an interview. And you're like, dude, I want to get one more deal. And I do the same thing because like I have a friend of mine that teaches at the college and he's like, hey, can you come in and talk to the students? And I, for the longest time, I'm like, let me get to this point. Let me get to that. And it's like, no, dude, like you, you've made it way further than you think. You don't have to be at a, a, a hundred thousand a month to do something impressive. I mean, we're talking 60 days at this rate, you're averaging a $1,500 a month deal per month over the course of 12 months. You're going to be at 18, 20 grand within a year of joining. It's stupid. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I know we want to, we want to get there tomorrow. Right. I totally get it. Yeah. So dude, let's walk th- real quick. I want you to tell me, like, walk me through it, dude. Like what? So getting that first deal. Did you get your very first one or did you have to go through a couple uh, business owners or did you land that first Zoom? No, yeah, I had to go through a couple business owners. Um, I uh, I did a concrete dude and I basically just wasted my time. So I had a few that were just super annoying and uh, couldn't get them on, on Zoom or they just wasted my time. Um, but then the, the first one I got um, for a spray foam installation company, I called this dude and uh, talked to him for probably like an hour over the phone just about life and everything um pitched him over zoom um he wasn't down but uh he recommended me his buddy um and then i pitched his buddy and got basically got him the first deal basically like that love it dude love yeah it. so and your first deal was concrete uh spray foam so oh, you said so the first one you tried was concrete you ended up getting your first deal in spray foam yeah okay dude amazing and and yeah here's what's crazy too is like i literally like in digital landlords, I literally tell you exactly what niches to go into, what cities to go into. And like, if you just follow it, it works. You might have to go through a couple business owners. You might have to, you know, get a couple of those, but you just, and here's, and the, the best part is, is the whole time you're working your, your day job. Yeah. 
How did you balance that, dude? And how are you balancing that? Is it overwhelming? Do you, how do you, like, how do you juggle having a full-time thing with this? Yeah, well, at first uh, I had to like watch all the videos. So that first week was pretty busy because I was working and then like going through like all the modules and taking notes and everything. Yep. Um, but after that first like initial like learning phase and figuring out all the different steps, um, now it's just kind of like, I can basically do it either, you know, after I get my work done or after work, um, just like a few hours, just like searching niches and stuff like that. So do, are you doing it like you're just going to work, getting all your stuff done? And then when you come home, maybe taking a little bit of a break and then jumping back on, or how do you, how do you structure your day? Yeah, it kind of just depends. Um, I, this last month I've been like slammed at work. So I basically had to do it after work. So I'll work for, you know, seven hours and then, um, I'll uh, either start right working away or I'll go to the gym first and then come back and then just kind of work on it. So yeah, usually it's been like after work this, this last like month. That's a good routine. Cause then you get to like, okay, I just paid the bills. Now I'm going to go and like exercise my body and then I can like get to work on the passion, right? Like yep. building the thing. Yep, well, exactly. Well. Yeah. So, okay. So, and then the second deal, like the, here's, what's crazy is like the, all these deals, whether it's you or somebody else or me, it's like, once you get the first one, it almost just unlocks this, like this, like caged up beast you have inside of you. <laughs> and like all of a sudden you're like this, this thing that I was so like, not nervous about, but this thing that I was so doubtful maybe, or had all these questions about all of a sudden you're like, Oh, I can do it. And then you, I swear to you, it's the weirdest thing. You go get the second deal, like right after, and then you're going to get the third and the fourth. But did you notice, and, and maybe you didn't, but I'm assuming you did. Did you notice like, as soon as you got that first deal, it was like, okay, game on. Or did you have anxiety going to the second one? Like how did, how did getting that first, what did getting that first deal do for you kind of like mentally and from a confidence standpoint? Yeah, I, uh, so basically I got that first deal and I was like, yeah, all right, well, like this is, this model is absolutely insane. I can just replicate this and it's going to work, you know, multiple times. So yeah, it definitely gave me the confidence. Um, I would say I did get like a little bit worried because I was like, well, this is my first deal. I don't know how these ads are going to play out long-term until I get the site ranked. So I was more so worried. I'm like, all right, I sold this deal. Now I'm just like praying that like the yeah. leads keep coming in. So I was a little bit worried about that. Um, but yeah, after I got that first deal, I was like, let's go. Yeah. And on that note for anyone that's listening, cause that's, it's a, it's a question. And that's why anyone that, that like is in this, in this group, it's like you, I give everyone like the basic outline of how to do this. I don't like, obviously in the paid group, we, we just like give you the blueprint and give you the ad copy and all that stuff. But like, there's, there's more to it than just like, I, you know, you can just throw up an ad, but like, if you don't know what you're doing, it can all of a sudden go from, oh, this is working to, oh crap, like this isn't working. But I will say this is as long as you guys don't oversell your deals, it's fine. And so here's what I like to do. And this is just a little tip is whenever I do a deal, especially in like a niche, I've never done it, or maybe it's your first deal. Cause you've never done that either. Right. I just undersell the crap out of it. And I'm like, Hey, look, we're doing the six month deal. The first couple months, because I'm doing the SEO, the ad thing, we're just doing that to like supplement. And so there's going to be days, let's just say you're, you're Mr. Andrew, right? Every, the business owner, I'm like, Andrew, there's going to be days where you're getting three leads and there's going to be two or three days in a row. Sometimes you get zero, but I'm telling you, we're looking at this over the six months. Like you just have to get them to buy into that six months with you. And that gives you the runway. But if you go in and it's like you get them under this false expectation that they're going to get, you know, 20 leads and they're going to get one lead a day. It's like, it just doesn't work like that. Right. Yeah. So anyway, other cool thing too, is we have uh, fix it paid ads. So if it, just for your sake, I'm, I mean, I'm sure you knew this already. If something does, you know, shake a little bit, you can do a zoom with him and, and share screens and stuff. But um insane bro so you got that one how many weeks between deal number one and deal number two um i'd probably say like maybe like two weeks um it would have been yeah but it would have been quicker but uh one of the bo's that i was talking to like strung me along i, I honestly like thought they were 100 gonna sign up and they strung me along for like a week i was i probably could have like bet my like left arm on it honestly 
Dude, I I got so many stories I could share <laughs> about it, business owners. Business owners are the worst, dude. I used to think like housewives and like dads were the worst. Like I would sell alarms and they would look me in the eyes and they go, Nick, my wife's not here. Or maybe the wife was there like, look, man, hey, we, we just, I would get so pissed. They'd be like, look, like we just don't make decisions the first day. We just don't make decisions. That's, and she, and then the wife would chime in and go, yeah, that's how he is. He, he just goes and look at like 10 pairs of sneakers just to buy sneakers, like trying to back it up. <laughs> And they're like, look, man, I, I, I'm straight. Like, I'll be straight with you. I'm a 9.5 out of 10. Like, we're doing this thing. And you go home, freaking going to grab your food for the night, just stoked because you got an appointment to close the deal at 8 a.m. the next morning. You wake up, dude. You get a text message. Hey, Nick, appreciate your time. And you just know what the rest of it yeah. is. Right? <laughs> or worse, you get in your car and instead of being at the gym or relaxing in the mornings, like when I was doing door to door, I would go to the house and I would literally be met with a big old note stuck in the door. And I'm like, oh, I know what that is. I know what that is. That's, that's them telling me they don't want to do it, but they can't say it to my face because they know I'm going to sell them. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> here's, the, here's the reality. For those of you that think you're going to get into business and not get bumps and bruises and nose and strung along and lied to and they're going to waste your time, it's going to happen. And if you're trying to go through life or trying to go through this experience, this, whatever we're in here, maybe it's virtual, maybe it's not, I don't know, whatever we're in here, if you think you're not going to, you're just going to go through and do something great, build something big without getting, you know, lied to strung along all those things, you just did the wrong thing, dude. You, yeah, you shouldn't do business. This is the wrong game, man. Business is the worst game if that's a problem. So but you know what's cool is like that makes it so that the next time when you land the business owner, the first try, you're like, dude, that feels good. That feels good. So anyway, I could, I could literally share stories where I would have bet $10,000. Oh, I'm getting that deal. Nope. <laughs> like, nope. And it's just weird, dude. And sometimes it feels too good to be true. And it is. So um, was, was closing this first deal you did when you finally mm -hmm. got it. Um, was it, was the close as, was it harder than you thought, easier than you thought, what you thought? Tell me about that. Yeah, I would say um, it's definitely uh, it was easier than I thought, um, especially with like the whole setup process and everything, um, especially if like you are given leads and they like look at a lead and like, <laughs> so uh, I would say it's a lot easier than I thought. Um, what what did you expect? Steps. Did you just expect like going back and forth? Like, you know, they reject, you say this, and then you went through the whole thing and they said, yes. You're like, oh, it is what he said. Yeah. I mean, I just, I just uh, thought that there was like no way that these business owners were going to be able to like be on board with paying, you know, 1500 bucks a month, $2,000 a month, you know, for <laughs> jobs I'm sending them. So I was just like, this seems pretty high. Um, there's no way it's going to be that easy. It's amazing. And then you get it. You're yeah. like, you went for two. I know. Right. <laughs> I know. Um, well, that's, that brings up kind of something that I, I do want to talk about, which is Dude, and, and it's interesting because you're at a way different level than a lot of people, but I think if we're not careful, we can, you hear this commonly, but sometimes people sell from their own pocket. And basically what that means is, you know, you might be, and I know you're not bro, because I know your situation, but you might be in a position where you're making two grand a month, 2,500 bucks a month, three grand a month total, right? And for you to even ask for 1,500, it's, it's the scariest thing ever because in your head, you're like, dude, that I don't, I don't, I, I couldn't say yes to that. But what you guys have to understand is these businesses we go after concrete, tree service, spray foam, guys, these guys spend thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars just on material. They spend hundreds, if not thousands of dollars on workers comp on uh, shoot, dude, swag, like swag for their employees, uniforms, all that stuff. And because we've never run a business like that, we think 1500 bucks is a lot of money. And in reality, it's a drop in the bucket. It's, it's just another business expense. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. 
And so anyway, I, I'm bringing that up because I know that like to you that like the $1,500 is, is that big of a deal. But at the same time, it's easy when you're like, dude, I don't know if I would spend this much money because you've never ran a brick and mortar business and you don't understand like how much overhead there is. Right. Yeah. So just be careful. Anyone out there, like don't base this, don't be emotional about it. When you drop price, don't sit there and go, oh, I don't feel that like confident asking that or, oh, I don't think they can afford it. No, just do the math. Just go through the formula like I teach it and charge exactly what these leads are worth based on the worst case scenario, right? So anyway, bro, let's talk about the fun stuff. Uh, so you're at two deals. You're at 3K a month. Um, what's your goal by the end of the year? Um. I didn't know by the end of the year, I was more so thinking about it like at a year period. Okay, what do you want to be at a year from when you when you join? Um, honestly, right now, I just want to get to 10K. I don't know what, I don't have a time frame set currently, but all I know is I want to hit that first 10K. That's kind of where I want to go first. Well, if you don't change anything, your problem looks like you're going to hit it early spring. But I, I, I don't see any reason why you couldn't hit that first of the year. And, and by the way, I'm also like pretty like empathetic to the fact that I know you have a full-time job and that's, what's crazy is you have a full-time freaking job. And it's not <laughs> like you have a job where you're like sitting there, like as a security worker where you don't act like it's at like a night shift where you can just like mess around on your phone. You have like, you gotta be thinking like mm -hmm. you're actually using your head, which is in my opinion, some of the hardest work and I've done manual labor, I've knocked doors, but when you're really thinking those jobs are exhausting. You know? Yeah. Um, so what was, I, I have just a couple of random questions real quick. What was your favorite? Because there's a lot of aspects about this business model that I, I was attracted to. Mm -hmm. Assets, you know, make money while you sleep, make, you know, uh, recurring, uh, scalability. What was the number one thing that like just hit you? And you're like, dude, this is the one. This business model checks the boxes that I needed to check. Like as far as like the uh, like the whole yeah which aspect like when you thought about making money past software or in addition to software or to replace software what 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 about this business model was so attractive the number one thing that was attractive about it mm, just I, I don't know about like the number one thing but it was like the only making money on the internet business model that I saw that actually like made sense it's like it benefits the business owner benefits me. And it's like, they're basically just like semi-passive income. Uh, yeah, I don't know, like one specific yeah. thing with the business model, I don't know. I just hold, the whole thing just kind of hit me. So, I mean, and, and that's, the, that's, that's true. Like they all kind of factor in because there's other business models out there. Like just because it's like, and I was the same as you, dude. I'd never made money online. And I was like, dude, I can't even imagine having a job where I could do it from anywhere, right? Because I always had to yeah. be present. But then I started like realizing like, oh, I just got lucky because I found this one first because what, you know, like, let's say for example, uh, uh, e-com, right. You know, what's dope about this business model is it's so cheap to get into. Even if you do the rank and rent and not even the way we teach it, which is rent first, then rank, mm -hmm. by the way, don't you think rent first rank later should be like a Drake song? Sounds like kind of Drake ass <laughs> with that, like, like just that, yeah. that whatever. Um, <laughs> yeah, but, uh, but even if you do it that way and people complain like, oh, I'm spending this money, guys, it's still in inconsequential amounts of money compared to going and finding a product on Amazon and picking it out and then sending the samples from China and then getting a big order and putting it in your garage or putting it up. Like, it's so ridiculous, but because we don't know any better, we don't like appreciate it. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, absolutely. So what's, the, wh when you hit the 10 K, what are you going to do to celebrate, bro? I, <laughs> do that on, on, I know you, you got, you got to be, you can treat yourself to something nice. Are you going to go on a little trip or what? You just going to do a fist pump? Uh, dude. Yeah. I'll probably, uh, yeah, I'll probably go on a trip. Honestly, I'll probably, I have a, I have a work laptop. I obviously can't use it for this, but I'll probably just buy a new laptop. Just, uh, take a fat trip and just go work on a beach or something, land some more deals. I don't know. <laughs> I love it, dude. There's something even more special about this when you do a deal from a, on a vacation. Like you're, I remember like just last year being in Mexico, being in uh, Cancun and like getting a call and they're like, Hey, let's do it. And I'm like, dude, I literally, and no kidding. 
not only was I at a resort, but I was like on the beach. Like we, I had like my shirt off sun tanning and I was like, did that just happen? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like the yeah. ultimate, like, oh, this is what I wanted to happen. And now it's happening. Um, the other thing that's cool is, are your deals on weekly or monthly? Oh, both weekly. Okay. Dude, every time I, I'm, I, I love doing them weekly because you get the, you get more, obviously you get more money. Mm -hmm. Obviously like it comes in more, it's like that adrenaline rush, but yeah, I love just like being somewhere random, like at the grocery store, on the golf course, at the gym and just like seeing the stripe come in, getting like, dude, I know. Oh Isn't that the God. best? Feel that, yeah. It's addicting. I'm like, Oh, oh dude, more. you're like, I didn't talk to that business owner last week. And I'm making money from the deal I did back. It's like, it's, it seems fake. Like, that's, yeah. you know what I mean? And that first time it happens, it's so surreal. And I know for some of the people that have been doing this a while, like, oh, you that's kind of corny. I, I get it. But like the first time there is something magical about like, dude, I literally cracked the code, right? Like, cause we, we all know in order to get rich, we have to separate our time from money, right? And the first time that this happens, it's going to be this mind blowing thing for those of you that haven't done it, where you're like, I did not work and I just received money. And you're like, oh, or better yet, you wake up and you realize the payment ran at like 1 a.m. And you're like, I literally made money while I slept, dude. Yeah. It's yeah, awesome. no, it, it's so cool. And like, I, the two people I'm working with right now, I'm like, barely, I'm like barely even talking to them. I like reach out to them that with them today just to see how everything's going. But other than that, just money just keeps hitting my, uh, my bank account. It's, it's crazy. And I actually had yeah. this question. Somebody called me today and they're like, Hey, be real with me. They're like, how much upkeep? And I'm going to ask you this question, Andrew. Um, yeah. how much maintenance do you, do you do with your clients that you've had for a couple months now? Um, would you say like, are you talking to them once a month, a couple times a month, a couple times a week? Like how the no, no bad answer. I'm just curious. Yeah, uh, probably like a couple times a month. Um, just yeah, they they kind of they're busy with uh, work, so they kind of just do their own thing. Um, so yeah, just maybe like this month, literally one time, which was today. Um, so yeah, there's like zero upkeep besides the fact that I'm like working on um, the SEO part and like breaking the sites out, just because I've never done it before. So that's taking a little bit longer for me. But uh, once that happens, it's basically going to be like just checking up on him at least with these two people that's what i told this guy that called me i said in the beginning the first contract whether it's three months six months or 12 months whatever you do you're gonna want to be a proactive and you're doing a good job andrew and by the way i would tell you did you ever watch the video the training we did in digital landlords on retention I don't think so. No. I'm going to tag you in it because you're doing a really smart thing right now. You don't have to be talking to these people, but the fact that you are being proactive about it is you're going to be able to. So anyway, long story short, the, the, the most you're going to have to talk to these people is in the beginning. And as soon as these websites rank organically and you get them to sign that second contract, you, your like soft touches, your phone calls, your texts, all that goes down dramatically Hmm. And I've said this time and time again, I have a customer that I'm working with right now. This person, it sounds like I'm making this up, but they literally live less than a mile from my house, my primary residence in my old neighborhood. Okay. It yeah. just happens to be, I have not spoken on the phone with this individual in 18 months and they've been working with me for two and a half years and I'm not getting paid a ton. I'm making 150 bucks a week. But it's bang, it's banging that car every single week. The last time we even communicated was like December twentieth. I dropped off a Yeti mug. I gave all my like not all of them, but some of them I gave a, a cup. Mm. And I was like, "Yo, can I drop this off?" And I was gonna just like say what's up. And he wasn't home. I put it on his porch and I texted him, "Happy Merry Christmas." <laughs> That's the last time we talked, dude. Damn, it's 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 stupid because we're it, it's and for those of you that are like, "What's this business model?" Guys, this is a very binary transaction. What I mean by that is, here's the deal. With SEO, with websites, with consulting, with all these different services, with logos and everything, there's all this like, hey, does this look good? Can I change this? Are you happy? Oh, here's our traffic. Here's our ranking. Guess what? With this, here's your leads. Here's my money. You stop paying me, I'm going to cut off the leads. If I don't send you leads, you're going to stop paying me. That's it. Right? Yep, and, exactly. And all you have to do is manage expectations and make sure that they're closing deals. And if you can do that, 
you stack as many of these little guys as you want. You could stack a hundred of them. And once you get the first one, Andrew, you got one for 1500 and it's like, cool. Why not just go do that 10 times? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Or 20 or 30 or 40. Right. And then all of a sudden you start doing this and you go, Oh, now I can charge two grand, two grand. Oh, I can get a setter. Oh, I just did 10 K and new business in a single month. And you start to realize like what kind of potential this business model has. Anyway, I'm hoping that I can say that, that line so many times on these live streams that one day I could just have this highlight reel of like, this is the best business model on the internet. I want to say it like, <laughs> yeah. you know, 8,000 times so that I can literally just replay it when it, like, oh, you guys remember back in 2020, 21, 22, when no one was looking at this business model. Now it's like mainstream. We're the ones that are in here freaking shaking things up. So anyway, dude, um, any, any, I don't want you to just give me an answer that's like just to fill the gap. So if you don't have yeah. it, tell me, but somebody that is at zero, they just found out about, I'm going to talk about one specific type of person. Somebody just found out about rank and rent last week. Mm -hmm. Okay. Literally like didn't even know what it was. Last week they found out about rank and rent. It clicked. They're like, this business model makes sense. What's your advice for them? Uh, like, my like, advice what, would be what would you recommend what's something you wish you'd done differently what's something that maybe you did right that you wish you'd have done if you could redo it what would you do i mean what advice would you give that person to, would you tell them to start would you tell them like what would you say yeah i would say well i'd say do exactly what i did which is just like you got to fully jump in if you if you actually want to do it um you got to join like you have to have the like system and you have to have somebody that like has already done it that's teaching you everything so that's exactly what I did. I just literally jumped straight in, didn't even think about it. Um, and then that like two week period, I just grinded learning everything I needed to learn. Um, and then I just followed the steps um, and then just implemented the steps. So I would say just like, you need to have like a mentor or somebody teaching you how to do it with whatever you want to do, but for rank and rent specifically. I, I agree. And guys, I'm, I'll be the first to admit, I'm not going to be the guy for everybody. I, I just not going to jive with everybody. And Guys, there are people that like to drive G wagons and Mercedes and BMWs, and there's people that like to drive uh, Hondas. And I I can recommend if if you guys want to jump in and you're like, hey, just not clicking, bro, dude, hit me up. I'll send you over to some Honda dealers. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'll send you to some Honda dealers, man. If you guys <laughs> if you guys are like, that's cool. If you, if you don't care about it going fast, I'll send you to some, some Honda dealers, some, some used Hondas, the hundred thousand mile, miles, new tires and some AC ports. I got it. <laughs> yeah. Obviously I'm just messing around, but no, for <laughs> real, I think, I, I, I think number one, I put out a YouTube video just a few minutes ago. Um, and I said, how to get started in this. And I think number one is just start, right? Number one, you got to start. And then I think the decision is, do you just try and learn this on your own? And so you can pound your chest and say, I'm, I'm a DIY, or do you say, Hey, my time's more valuable than that. And do I learn from somebody that's done it? And then that doesn't mean it's me. Like ask mm -hmm. the questions, vet me out. Guys, if you looked hard enough in this group, you can find my tax returns. Like I'm not, <laughs> I'm trying to be like exact opposite of everybody else. But anyway, the, the point being is dude, if you hadn't jumped, like I know people that are literally listening to this right now, that have been in this group, we're come, some of them have been in here eight months, 10 months, and they, you know how much money they're making? Freaking nothing, dude. And you've been, mm -hmm. you've, you've known about rank and rent for like just over 60 days and you're making three grand a month. Yeah, it's crazy. And, and I'm not, I'm not saying anything like if like you're a smart guy, I'm not saying like, you know, that I'm saying the fact of the matter is the people that make the most freaking money in this business are the ones that move quick. That's why I'm, I always say money loves speed, right? Dude, I love that phrase. Yeah. Yeah, dude. It, you just, it just makes, it just slaps. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it really does. Yeah. I love it, dude. Well, anyway, bro, I want to keep this thing tight because mm -hmm. I want to respect your time. I know you've already done an interview with Sean. There's just a couple, uh, like as I, I watch some of these case studies, because I can't even watch all of them myself, we literally have, in fact, here, I'll tell you, you guys probably think I'm full of crap. We have any case studies we literally have scheduled right now that we have we that are on the calendar we have one two three four five six seven i have eight case studies 
right now people that have gotten deals that have not been on an interview at all that are scheduled and probably seven to 10 more that just haven't filled out our, our uh, Calendly link. We can't get to these things fast enough. Um, but dude, I just wanna say like hats off to you for more than anything, just freaking doing it. You know what I mean? Didn't yeah. have all the answers, it wasn't perfect. You lost the deal, whatever. At the end of the day, this is what somebody told me the other day. I was, I was golfing. I'm going to end with this. I was golfing in uh, Vegas. I was at the win. This is in June. And I hit this shot and it was like, it got really close to the hole. It was like a little chip shot. Right. And I was like that, you know, like you're, you're playing with people that are better than you. And you're like, dude, that was the ugliest shot ever. Right. It's <laughs> yeah. like you bank, you bank in a three. Right. Yeah. It's in the, the, the caddy that was with us. He's like, dude, he's like, you ever notice they never put pictures of your shots on your scorecard. He's like, freaking relax, bro. It was a great shot. And I was like, dude, that's a really good point. <laughs> like nobody cares how you got to 3K, dude. Doesn't matter if you went through 15 business owners, you didn't, but no one cares. The fact is you're at 3K. And some people on this call right now or that are going to listen to this, they're so worried about having a perfect record. They want to say, oh, I've, I've been on three calls and I've closed three. You guys have any, how many deals I've lost? I've lost probably more deals than all of you guys combined. And that's the reason I am where I am. So Anyway, dude, hats off to you for taking imperfect action. Appreciate you being on, bro. And uh, yeah, let's go get some more deals. Dude, yes, man. Yeah, man. Thank you, bro. And uh, I appreciate finding this group. Dude, you're making me a lot of money. So dude, appreciate you, man. Wait till be on the call tomorrow, bro. I got some exciting news. So all right, let's go. Okay. Talk soon, bro. Thanks, guys. All right. See you, man. Good.